a week, the faraway world of the South Pacific is recreated at the Vivian Beaumont Theater. But capturing these exotic surroundings took a small army of artists, craftsmen, and designers. We worked on this show for about two years. We did so much research. The airplane that's sitting here behind me is a, is a devastator from World War II. Flame and Mamie was a real name. That's called nose art. They actually built it like a real airplane. It's full scale. So it had to come down in pieces from the shop and they couldn't fit it inside a truck. So it came on a flatbed truck. The sets built in Yonkers in upstate New York are carefully maneuvered by a crew of 41. Everything has been painstakingly thought out, even the hand-painted backdrop. This is an old-fashioned technique. Many people think it's a projection, but it's all painted with aniline dyes. It's called a translucency, so that it can be lit from the front and the back to get that kind of endless uh, density. In its 23-year history, Lincoln Center Theater has produced Tony winners like Anything Goes, Carousel, and Lights in the Piazza. All long successful runs, but South Pacific is the biggest hit yet with through the roof ticket demand. We were there from the beginning when the cast first set foot on the stage. <laughs> okay. I just want to welcome you to the Beaumont stage. If there's ever a show for the Beaumont, it's South Pacific. I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce you all to what is the best crew in all of New York yeah. City. Yeah. Yeah. Rudy, props. John Ross, props. Mark Higdon, props. Jeff Ward, spot four. There's a couple of things that we want to point out on stage left and stage right. They're what we call the choppers. All of those things fly in and out during the show. Getting familiar with the ins and outs of the 1100 seat theater didn't take long, and soon it becomes a home away from home with cast and crew becoming a family. Where's that, Helen? <laughs> The Rogers and Hammerstein family and organization maintains complete control of the property, which is why there hasn't been a Broadway revival since 1949, until now. We were waiting for all the right pieces to fall into place. And we needed a fantastic Emil de Beck, and they're hard to come by to get somebody with that kind of voice, and who's clearly a foreigner, not a wonderful actor, singer that you've seen on Broadway before. Enter Paulo Schott, a rising Brazilian opera star who fit the bill with a beautiful baritone, good acting skills, and an undeniable sex appeal. The thing that terrified me from the beginning was the speaking part, because, you know, I was used to, to perform with the music all the time, and the music led me everywhere. And uh, here, the music stops, and then we have to start acting. <laughs> It is a color that no, 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 of course not. It's not that. No. I wanted to know I have no apology. Um, no. I came I mean, here as a young man. I, I lived as I could. I mean, I'm not jealous. It's just such a shock for me to think of you with it. I mean, such a surprise to me. I have not been selfish. No, no woman ever hated me or tried to hurt I mean, me. No woman could ever want to hurt you. But after a while, with a lot of help, I started to, to find this new way and uh, enjoy it very much. Even so, playing Emile Derbeck is giving him a few gray hairs. For me, it's a big challenge to, to do an older uh, person on stage. I actually like it. I, I can't wait until the natural one grows. <laughs> And obviously, the audience likes what they see. The audience is amazing, you know, and the, the opening night was such an impact for me to have this reaction from the audience. and. Uh, it's very rewarding to have this uh, energy back. Up 
Next, a Hawaiian native who's shaking up the stage and Lieutenant Cable's military workout. Keep it going. Come on. ABC 7's presentation of a salute to South Pacific is brought to you by Toyota, Hotels.com, Main Office of Tourism, and Metropolitan Jewish Home Care and Hospice.